Hey everyone, yes, I'm DVD Hall and yes, I am a terrible person. This is part one of two, so we have ten here and then there'll be another ten in a later batch. And these again are all from CEX, so they're all kind of 50 pence a pound each, second hand of course. And there are quite a few Sandra Bullocks, I have to say. I'm kind of going through a bit of a Bullock obsession at the moment. And the first one is Murder by Numbers, which, well, I'm a huge fan of thrillers, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Then we have, these are in absolutely no order. We have Platoon. Um, I just realised Charlie Sheen's in this actually, which is going to be quite interesting because I think this will be the first thing I've seen Charlie Sheen in that isn't Two and a Half Men. It's finally time for me to watch Halloween. Honestly, I've kind of been putting this off because I'm so looking forward to watching it. If you think I should rush and watch it, let me know. But I'm kind of going to put it towards the bottom of my to be watched pile for now because I kind of want to keep building that excitement up a little bit but so many people have recommended it to me that I'm, I may just not be able to resist the temptation. And this is another bollock film. This is Crash and I don't know what it's about. Uh, a Brentwood housewife and her DA husband, a Persian store owner, two police detectives who are also lovers, black television director and his wife, a Mexican locksmith, two carjackers, a rookie cop, a middle-aged Korean couple. They all live in LA and in the next 36 hours they will all collide. What do we think of that? It sounds chaotic. It sounds like I need to be fully awake when I'm watching it. Not one of those films that you can just put on in the background. So um, we'll see how that goes. Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins meet Joe Black. I, again, I don't know what this is about but when I was in CEX I just saw it and saw the cast and thought yes please I absolutely have to have this. And there's just something about the cover artwork there that I really like. So I'm kind of going to tweet about that when I watch it and let you know what I think. Um, but I really like Anthony Hopkins a lot. This one, I'm so looking forward to. This is Numb, Matthew Perry. And basically it's about a guy who's convinced he's going insane and he goes and gets therapy. And it kind of sounds right up my street. And also being a fan of Matthew Perry, that's going to be a bonus. This one was actually recommended to me. This is 84 Charing Cross Road, another Anthony Hopkins film. London, Charing Cross Road, Anthony Hopkins. I'm just so excited. So when you, when you, you get a film and you just know that you're going to love it regardless of what it's like. The Blind Side. Another very beautiful looking Sandra Bullock film. There are quite a few of those in here just now. It all started when I watched um, all about Steve and then I saw her in something else and then after that I just thought right I need all of Sandra Bullock's films and I need to watch them all right now. In the name of the father this is one of the last Emma Thompson films that I have to see. There are a few more, a small selection left that I still need to watch but In the Name of the Father is one of the last few. I've got Emma Thompson. You see her in the top corner. So I'm kind of going to try and not watch this because I hate having a favourite actress or like favourite actors that I love and then getting to the end of their catalogue. <laughs> it's, it's so emotional. Ah, another Emma Thompson one. Beautiful Creatures. I know a lot of people love this one and I never saw it and a lot of people have said that's going to be right up my street. So, again, I'm going to try and savour it. But I have this awful habit of not being able to savour the films that I want to watch. Another bullock, extremely loud and incredibly close. Looks very interesting. Uh, interesting cover anyway, so we'll see what that's about. And that was 50 pence, again, not very pricey at all. Second last, we have two thrillers. So we have The Lawnmower Man, which, <laughs> if you just look at the artwork for that, I just thought, I don't know what that is, but it just looks insane. And then we have Train to Hell, which is a Hugh Grant film, so being a huge thriller fan. I'm expecting greatness and also probably a little bit of oddities. And then we have In Bruges. Now I love McDonough, at least I love McDonough's Irish plays. Um, I've seen a couple of his films and I've been to Bruges. So I kind of thought this one really should be one I should make the effort to see. So part one of two. Really looking forward to those as always. If you have any suggestions for any films that you think I should check out. I know a lot of those have actually been suggestions from you guys and I do keep them all in a big list. Uh, yeah, let me know and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!